In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to swap out faces on uh, this animal here. And we're not going to use this, uh, the IP adapter on this one here. So if we go to the uh, control adapter, we're not going to use the IP adapter for the face at all. And I got this little script you can try. It's called Prompt It and uh, you can download it um, but you'll have to go to the link below this video to go to another video to find out the download link so this is a prompt I got a dog's head, a cat's head, a pig's head, a giraffe's head <coughs> and a rabbit's head if I copy that I can select here or here and I go back into the stable diffusion let's, let's remove this right here this is considered one prompt so if we go down here, and if you look at the text, it says one prompt. Now if I come back up here, and I generate it, it's got these pipe characters in there. And this will create different prompts. So if I got five different animals, I will get five different prompts. So I'll copy this. Notice I kept them short. And, and been specific to the word head. So when I paste this in here, <coughs> come down back down here, now it's generating as five different prompts. I'm in image to image here. And I set the uh, image right here to one. It's still going to generate five different ones of them. You don't want to go any higher because you're going to end up, if I got five here and I move this to two, that's going to be five times two, then I end up with ten uh, images. But uh, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to set this to one. These are some basic settings that you can try. This is a model I'm using here. So you may get different results. If you want to try this model and follow along, they got it um, over on the Vogue, so they got them place where you can download their models for that that's one that came from there it's the fantasy art and the strength this is just the starter settings you can mess with it and when you do you can increase and decrease sometimes it just don't take a whole lot you might buy like bump it up one I found three on this situation works pretty good so keep that in mind and let's go back over to the here and hopefully uh, this cat right here it's I downloaded it off the web it's got a different size uh, if I open this up new tab the size of this cat extremely large I don't want to do that so we'll go back here since it's kind of like landscape well well let's uncheck this right here and it'll give us the option changes and this is basically two to three kind of like uh, landscape so if I move it right here you can see the height is taller than the width so we can use the swap button here this will be more like this so the width is 768 which is long and the height is up and down so that that'll work pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and generate these and as you can see here, I, I got a dog that's going to come up first. Now, I already got a cat, so that'll be coming up second anyway. So, not a whole lot of change there. See, it looks like a, looks like a dog. And the next one will be a cat. Be pretty close to this cat here. See, there's a cat. We got a pig's head coming up. Always look at the one on the right is the final results. This is the beginning. There's a pig's head. We got a giraffe's head and a Coming up, it looks like a giraffe. It's keeping the same structure as this cat's body. And then we got a rabbit coming up. That looks kind of funny, I think. So we can go through this again if you want. I'll select down here. This is starting at the dog, the cat, the pig, the giraffe, 
and the rabbit. I like the rabbit. It come out pretty good. Uh, this this is hit and miss, so it doesn't work all the time uh, on certain things. So I try to like if I'm picking like a an animal, I like to stick to an animal's uh, you know head. You know, a dog's head, a cat's head. I don't have any types of other uh, like a woman's head or a man's head. Sometimes that'll work and sometimes it won't. But this is this will work pretty good. Let's go ahead and delete all this. We go to acid browser and I got another one. We'll bring this one over here. And we'll look at the size of this one here. This one is eight thirty six by nine twenty six. Not a big deal. So what I'll do is uh I'll let it generate one at that size. If I do that, I need to select this box here. And it's going to generate uh, the final output the same size. So if we select here, and we'll run it again. I'll switch over here so we can see. Now I've tried this like on a robot and stuff, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it don't. And Different things. So there's a the dog. Cat's coming up. And after the cat, we're going to have the pig's head. And that's almost done. That looks pretty funny. We got the giraffe coming up. Then after the giraffe. Here. That looks pretty good. And then we'll have the rabbit's head. As you can see, I, they're, they're coming in and I'm not seeing them be displayed as they're being generated and that's because I got this right here see it's it looks like a little uh, hourglass display progress if I have this on that's what will happen see I, I don't like to see that so I'm just going to clear that and cancel that out so we won't want to see that we'll switch back here we'll do some go back to the original ones here and I'll check that we'll go back to that one here and then I can kind of it's more a good visual effect for me uh, this is hit and miss like I said uh, you can tweak with this much as you like if it's not hitting you may want to bump it up a little bit uh, like if it's not producing the rabbit's head or any of the heads usually if you bump it up you'll get you'll get you get what you want but too much will make it look uh, unrealistic and also notice uh, I'm just I got a one cat in the, in the background I don't got a bunch of uh, cats back here or people so it's focusing on one uh, subject here and there's the rabbit Let's take a look at that rabbit in the new tab. He looks pretty funny. That looks pretty good. Anyway, like I said, you can download this script and try it. I'll have it below the video. And uh, it's pretty fun. So if you like want to, here's my prompt. If I wanted to add more to it, I would ungenerate it. And then I would add more to it. Now, in the video you got to watch it because it tells you certain things you got to do and I'm not going to get into that part here uh, you'll have to watch the video so I don't want to make this uh, any longer than I have to but anyway uh, have fun with it